So what a history this day has. And the TCL TV States has always, in recent years, been the sponsor of the Batman. It's a little bit of a consolation for the Derby, and it was today, because this horse was hoping to get into the Derby on Saturday, and Valen de Clare was balloted out. She was a strong win. Juniper's well bred, he's a good horse, and Ollie threw everything for the kitchen sink, and he just knew that he got there in the line, because Richard tells us he always does. 71 wins for Damien Oliver in the Melbourne Cup week, historically. Joins Roy Higgins, who there's a statue of here at the track, one behind the late great Bobby Lewis. So we come to the Kennedy Oaks. The Oaks was run for the first time on October the 19th, 1861. That's 19 days before Archer won the very first Melbourne Cup. So boy, oh boy, it does have a history as the Phillies come into the mounting yard for the Kennedy 2018 rendition. And Jason, there is a lot to like about her, but how has she pulled up after Saturday? Well, the most fascinating runner in the race, because if she can run 2,500 metres, she should be far too classy for them. That's the only query. She ran on Saturday, and she basically didn't have a run because she was held up throughout, and I think she would have won the Empire Rose if she was able to get out. She won the 1,000 guineas. Now, her mum ran and ran a really nice race in a binary at 2,000 metres. I'm trying to find any sort of a staying pedigree with her. If it's a sit and sprint, she'll be too fast. Whereas Aristia, horse number two here, who won the wakeful, she'll be hoping it's a genuine staying test because she'll be able to park herself right there on speed. She ran the 2,000 really suddenly in the wakeful. I'm sure she'll run the 2,500 metres. Damien Lane draws a nice low barrier. She should get the run of the race. Jessica, how does Kafila look to you? Because she's backing up as well. Yeah, she's a in really interesting proposition as Kafila because I think she's the most experienced in the field. She's had 11 starts. She's only had the one win. That was as a two-year-old over a year ago, over a 1,000 metres. And then here she is in an Oaks over 2,500. And arguably her best run was in the wakeful last time out where she wasn't able to get out. And when she did get out, she really finished strongly. Jim Crowley loved the run that day. He's decided to stay to ride her here. And physically, she's a big, strong, lengthy, staying filly. But not a single doubt, her stallion wouldn't normally suggest a staying uh, trip, but he can get them in all shapes and sizes. Now, behind her is very elegant. I'm keen to get a look at her because she's also backing up from the wakeful down with just uh, giving a bit of instruction there to the strapper. Now, what they do with her in the run is going to be critical because in the wakeful she got too far back, she didn't settle, she gets the head up and over races basically and then she was too far back off a slow pace to really make much impact. But they put the, sh the, the nose roll on today and that is going, that just isn't going to encourage her to put her head down to be able to see over it to give jockey Johnny Allen a better chance of controlling her. But over this extended trip, I'm just not sure she'll settle. Fair enough. So Graceful Glamour, Mark Noonan, has broken through with a group one with a filly this season. And this filly was good at Flemington two starts ago. Certainly was. Uh, I thought she was quite impressive there. She won by a fair margin, too. Uh, she then went to Caulfield for the ethereal over the 2,000 metres. A little bit ordinary there. Um, I'm not sure which side came out. She's by Stratum, who was a golden slipper winner and a sprinter out of a Dalakani man. Now, she is grey, and Dalakani throws greys. So maybe she's thrown to that side. Let's hope, because that's the test with her. Can she run 2,500? Yeah, well, and Dalakani, because that, that, that will help a bit mm. there. So, Cheska, uh, to you, uh, this one, Sizzle Me. Yeah, the, we try and look for their pedigrees, don't we, to see if, if that's going to be a guide to the trip. She's by Sizzling, which would suggest no, but she's by out of a Zabil mare, which would say yes. More recently, she's been getting up on the front end, but now she's drawn out wide. She's got the blinkers off. She's going to have to settle back, and that is going to be key to her uh, being competitive here. Lovely looking type. We know the Piero side, the Derby winner in Sydney, and also the Oaks winner here last year. Dark confident. I just wonder whether she has the class to match these. She's been tried against this class of filly and she hasn't been all that competitive. Beaten four and a half and seven and a half in the last two. I think she's up against it here. OK, so there's Dark Confident. What about John Sargent? He's been there and done it in an Oaks here before, hasn't he? Well, he sure has. He's a great trainer of stayers. Now, this is coming off a Newcastle 2300 metre maiden. Would have run against older horses and been too good for them. So that's something in her favour. I guess this is a great step up in class. But John he kind of knows which ones to bring. He doesn't usually over-face over them. He won with Kiramosa in 2013, did 
John Sargent. Um, what, well, what about Trent Bassett and Natalie Young's Philly Cheska? Yeah, did you avoid saying the name there, Bruce? I think Maracaibo. I don't know. I want to give it a Caribbean flavour. Either way, I think she's one of the biggest fillies in the field. She's a big, strong daughter of Reduce Choice. On pedigree, she's OK. She should just about get this trip. The blinkers stay on her, and she's won her last two, but she's significantly up in grade and company here today. I think she'll stay well. Well, when Winx was winning the Cox Plate Scamper, was it Yarrow Valley doing her business, Richard? And they tell me Johnny Miller's the last jockey to win the Melbourne Cup and the Oaks in the same year. That was 1966. That's a long time ago, isn't it? And K Max, just the man to do the job, though, isn't it? Yarrow Valley maiden to fabulous Flemington for the Oaks. It's a huge task. She's a promising filly. I suppose my one query is is it all too soon for her, so lightly raced in her first prep, and whether or not she'd be a chance in an Oaks in the autumn? A race uh, maybe over in Adelaide or even Queensland. Cheska, in this neck of the woods, if you buy High Chaparral out of a Zabul mare, we actually really love that. Yeah, we really love that for a race of this distance, don't we? She's the third of the Darren Weir trio and a different prospect to the other two. She's come through different races and her last run was at Echuca in a maiden, which she won really impressively by three and a half lengths. I'm tipping it wasn't a very good race, which made her look she's going to have to take the next step up to mix it with this lot, but no reason why she can't. Rich O'Collect, the Wolves' mother, knew all about winning an Oaks, didn't she? It certainly did, and wouldn't it be wonderful for uh, Robbie Griffiths to be able to get an Oaks winner here? He just legs up James McDonald with Collectible. She is a maiden. Now, this filly by Sebring really caught the eye in the ethereal behind, very elegant. She got way out of the ground. She was last with 600 metres to go and rattled home and was beaten three and a quarter lengths. It was a huge Huge run. I'm convinced 2,500 metres suits. She's a must for trifectas and first four. Exclusively ours by Needs Further, the side of Mystic Journey has been a hit here. Look, she was 100 to 1 in the way for She's run a couple of good races this spring, but I think she's outclassed. Jason, um, there's no bigger story in a way than Miners Miss, though, today, is there? And there's no bigger name than M Michelle Payne. So Michelle to ride for Dad on a filly by Rebel Raider who won a derby, bred to get the trip. We spoke to Michelle um, only moments ago and wish her all the very best. It'd be an extraordinary story to win the Oaks for a Dad. How would we we line that up with winning a Melbourne Cup. I reckon it'll be right there. Uh, it won't be. Uh, there'll be a lot of tears, I reckon. And Lacidi's the number 15. But Polanski, who uh, the trainer Robbie Lang produced to win the derby. Because of Noel Callow, well, we saw some riding from him, didn't we? On Saturday, on the way out of Casino Wizard. But at big odds today, Lacidi. So the stage is set. 